Coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. here now trying to hip escape right now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke he needs to secure the left arm push it across and secure it with his head watch triangle watch triangle there he is he's moving to the finishing position now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent when it's time to finish he has to go flat chest. now he's okay now he can escape Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, back up. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course, he don't succeed. Try to try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top couple? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Take him off. Under a minute to go. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and ball combinations. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wait. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Let's go, fight. Oh, nice right hand. Effective punch there by Chiesa, though. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. And they separate. Big left hand lands upstairs. Nice one, two there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was gonna win this fight, he was gonna have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of... Oh! New Right 
right. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Slips the punch. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Big knee to the body. Just misses with the jet. Stop the takedown, no problem. Oh. oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Michael Patrick Chiesa! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission.